Hello everyone, welcome to our compilation video. In case you missed any of the last 20 quizzes, you can catch up here or else you can simply revise. Let us begin. The age of Guptas in Indian history is described as golden age of Indian history, which among the following options is not a valid reason behind this. All of this are valid reasons. Gupta period became known as the golden age of India because it was marked by extensive inventions and discoveries in science, technology, engineering, art, dialectic, literature, logic, mathematics, astronomy, religion and philosophy. Out of the battles fought between contemporary rulers and Babur, which among the following resulted in the firm establishment of Babur's rule in North India? Correct answer is Battle of Kanva. So this was fought near the village of Kanva in Bharatpur district of Rajasthan on March 16, 1527. It was fought between the invading forces of the first Mughal emperor Babur and the Rajput forces led by Rana Sangha of Mewar after the Battle of Panipat. The people from which of the following ancient places are called Vrishnis. They are from Dwarka. In fact, Vrishnis were an ancient Vedic Indian clan who was believed to be descendants of Vrishni, who was a descendant of Yadu. Yadu or Yadav, uh, as you know, it is believed that they are descendants of son of Yati. He had two wives, Gandhari and Madri. He had a son named Deva Mithusha by his wife Madri. Who among the following profess Suddhaveta philosophy? The correct answer is Vallavacharya. Suddhaveta is a purely non dual philosophy propounded by Vallavacharya. The founding philosopher and guru of the Vallava Sampradaya, a Hindu Vaishnava tradition focused on the worship of Krishna. Who among the following introduced the modern concept of rule in India? That would be the British. India during the British Raj was made up of two types of territories, British India and the native states or princely states. In general, the term British India has been used and in fact it's still used to refer also to the regions under the rule of the British East India Company in India from 1600 to 1858. Which among the following correctly explains Bhikkhuni Patimokha of Buddhism? That would be special code of conduct for female Buddhist monks or Buddhist nuns. So these are basic code of disciplines for Bhikkhunis or Buddhist monks, female Buddhist monks and contains 311 rules of this 181 are shared with the Bhikkhu Patimokha. Which among the following is incorrect regarding Buland Darwaza? All of this is correct. Buland Darwaza or the Gate of Brick Tree was built in 1601 AD by Mughal Emperor Akbar to commemorate his victory over Gujarat. It is the main entrance to the palace at Fatehpur Sikri. In fact, it is the highest gateway in the world and is an example of Mughal architecture. Bring out the only wrong statement. Here, all of them are correct. Kalibangan in Rajasthan has given the evidence of the earliest flawed agricultural field ever relieved, uh, revealed through an excavation. Raja Raja Chola I of the Chola Empire conquered the northern half of Sri Lanka during his reign and Rajendra invaded Ceylon in 1017 CE and annexed the entire island. Agatyam was the earliest book on Tamil grammar and is believed to have been compiled by the first Sangha by Agathyar or Agastya. The dual government of Bengal was a result of a Farman in 1765 by which of the following? It was by Shah Alam. So this is the Treaty of Allahabad and was signed on 16th August 1765 between Mughal Emperor Shah Alam of Bengal and Lord Clive of British East India Company after the Battle of Buxar in 1764. Based on the terms of agreement, it was granted uh, the Diwani rights to the East India Company. For which of the following com commodities the Dutch wanted to barter cotton piece goods in the Indonesian archipelago? The correct answer is pepper and spices. Recognizing the potential of the East Indies spice trade and to prevent competition eating into Dutch profits, 
the Dutch government had amalgamated the competing merchant companies into a single company which de de uh, performed these trades. Who among the following erected a monastery stupa at Peshawar? Correct answer is Kanishk. So the Kanishk stupa was a monumental stupa established by the Kushanki Kanishka during the 2nd century CE in today's Shaji ki Dheri on the outskirts of Peshawar in Pakistan. Who among the following granted permission to Buddhist king of Ceylon, Meghavarman, to build a monastery at Bodhgaya? That was Samudra Gupta. Uh, he granted this permission to Meghavarman and thus earned the name of Anukampa Bhavan or full of compassion. Which of the following dynasties was founded by Mayur Sharma? Correct answer is Kadamba. So the Kadambas were an ancient royal family of Karnataka, India that ruled northern Karnataka and the Konkan from Banavasi in present-day Uttara Kannada district. The kingdom was founded by Mayush Sharma in uh, circa 345, which at later times showed the potential of developing into imperial proportions, an indication to which is provided by the titles and the epithets assumed by its rulers and the marital relations they kept with other kingdoms and empires <coughs> such as uh, Vakatakas and the Guptas of northern India. Sakambari near Rajmade is a place related to emergence of which of the following dynasties? It, that would be Chauhans. So the <coughs> correct name is Chahamanas of Shakambari, colloquially known as Chauhans of Sambhar. They were an Indian dynasty that ruled parts of the present-day Rajasthan and its neighboring areas between 7th and 12th centuries. The territory ruled by them was known as Sapada Laksha. Who among the following is known to oppose the Age of Consent Bill? That would be Bal Gangadha Tila. The Age of Consent Bill or the Age of Consent Act of 1891 was a legislation enacted in British India on 19th March 1891 which raised the Age of Consent for Sexual Intercourse for all girls married or unmarried from 10 to 12 years in all jurisdictions and its violations subject to criminal prosecution as rape. Poverty and Unbritish Rule in India by Dadabhai Nauruji was the original classic work on poverty in India. In which year was this published? It was published in 1901. The work focused on the drain of wealth from India to England during colonial rule of British in India. One of the reasons of the drain theory is attributed to Nauruji is his decision to estimate the net national profit of India and by extension the effect that colonization has on the country. On which date, December, do we observe minorities' rights day? We observe it on 18th of December. So every year on 18th December, this is observed to promote the rights of minority communities in India. Also, the awareness creation of minority rights is the objective of celebrating this day as minorities' rights day. To facilitate synergy between research in higher education and science, at which of the following places, National Institute of Science, Education and Research was started in 2007. That is Bhuvaneshwar. So this is also known as NISAD. Uh, it was long founded by the then Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh and it was established in 2006 along the lines of the Indian Institute of Science in Bangalore and its seven sister institutions, the IISERs, which are established in Pune, Mohali, Kolkata, Bhopal, Brahmapur, Tirupati and Tiruvananthapuram in India. Indian Institute of Corporate Affairs is located where? It's located in Gurgaon. The Indian Institute of Corporate Affairs is an autonomous body under the aegis of Ministry of Corporate Affairs, which is under the Government of India, handling and dealing with various subjects, matters and affairs in the arena and spectrum of Corporate Affairs Regulation, Governance and Policy. In the context with Indian Agriculture, what is KMS? KMS is Kharif Marketing Season. So Indian cropping season is classified into two main seasons, which is Kharif and Rabi, based on the monsoon. Kharif cropping season is from July to October during the southwest monsoon and the Rabi cropping season is from October to March, which is winter. So Kharif can be classified as summer crops and Ravi as winter crops. Which among the following is a common industry in Bhadravati, Karnataka, Churk in Uttar Pradesh, Dalmianagar in Bihar, Gwalior in Madhya Pradesh, 
ओका इन गुजरात सवाई माधेपुर इन राजस्थान एंड सूरजपुर इन पंजाब दैट वुड बी द सीमेंट इंडस्ट्री The Indian cement industry comprises of 125 large cement plants with an installed capacity of 148.28 million tons and more than 300 mini cement plants with an estimated capacity of 11.10 million tons per annum. The Cement Corporation of India is a central public sector undertaking which has 10 units. For which of the following ores Baba Budan Hills in South India are famous? They are famous for iron. So Baba Budan Giri range includes the highest peaks of Karnataka and are famous for iron ore mining. Other famous iron ore mines are Bailadilla in Bastar, Dalli Rajhara in Balor district of Chhattisgarh and Singhum in Rajshahar. Which among the following is not correctly matched? Sambar to handlock printing is not correctly matched. Sambar is near Ajmer in Rajasthan and Sambar Lake is famous place for salt production. Sanganer and Jaipur which are also in Rajasthan are famous for hand block printing. Bring out the only wrong statement. All of these statements are correct. All India Limited was incorporated in collaboration with uh, Burma Oil Limited by the President of India. Also they commissioned a gas based power plant in Tulyajan in Assam which was pre-independence in 1866 and uh, later during construction of Uh, Dirbugar Lido Railway oil was dis discovered at Digboy in 1882 again pre independence so also Bombay High or now Mumbai High is an offshore oil field located in the Arabian Sea and it is in fact the richest oil fields in the country bring out the incorrectly matched pair that would be orology to study of rock in fact orology is the study of mountains whereas lithology is the study of rocks Which among the following denotes the correct usage of an instrument called theodolite? That would be option C, measures horizontal and vertical angles in triangular networks. So this is a pre precision optical instrument for measuring angles between designated visible points in the horizontal and vertical planes. Southeast reach, also known as Southeast Coal Route, um, is a reach uh, located. in which location so it is a climbing route to which of the following peaks it's a climbing route to mount everest everest is the tallest mountain in the world and it's about 8848 meters above sea level and sits directly on the border of tibet and nepal there are two commonly climbed routes up the mountain the south coal route and the northeast reach during the tenure of which of the following prime ministers the lok sabha could never meet that would be chaudhry charan singh who served as the fifth prime minister of india between 28th july 1979 and 14th january 1980 so less than 6 months historians and people alike frequently refer to him as the champions of india's peasants during whose reign uh, chungus khan invaded india he invaded india during iltutmish reign and uh, failed so At the time that Genghis Khan came to India, India was ruled by Iltutmish, who was a strong leader. It is very hard, even for the greatest invaders, to capture a strong leader heading a large empire. They eventually found easier targets to prey on. Florence Nightingale, who was also known as Lady with the Lamp and was the first woman to receive the Order of Merit in 1907, had transformed which of the following professions? She had transformed nursing. Since its institution in 1902 the order of merit has to date only admitted 8 women of which Florence Nightingale was the first who among the following established Ramakrishna mission it was established by Swami Vivekananda Ramakrishna mission is a hindu religious and spiritual organization which forms the core of worldwide spiritual movement known as the Ramakrishna movement or the Vedanta movement who among the following governor generals of india is famous for sati reforms and suppression of human sacrifice that was lord william bentinck he was the first governor general of british india and he tried to suppress sati the prescribed death of a widow on her husband's funeral pyre and passed the bengal sati regulation 1829 he also targeted other customs that offended western sensibilities often with the help of raja ramohan roy who was not only a social reformer but also known as the maker of modern india or father of modern india 
in which of the following infrastructure development projects in India involves maximum public-private partnership? That would be roadways. So public-private partnerships are typically found in transport infrastructure such as highways, airports, railroads, bridges and tunnels. Examples of municipal and environmental infrastructure include water and wastewater facilities. Which amendment bill made the number of fundamental duties from 10 to 11? That was the 86th amendment bill. The 11 fundamental duties of India are to abide by the constitution and respect its ideals and institutions, the national flag and the national anthem, to cherish and follow the noble ideas which inspired our national struggle for freedom, etc. Which among the following regulates housing finance companies in India? National Housing Bank is the correct answer. It is a Government of India owned entity and was set up on 9 July 1988 under the National Housing Bank Act of 1987. It is an apex financial institution for housing. In which year was the original concept of goods and service tax in the present form come to India in a formal manner? That would be 2004. So GST is an indirect tax imposed in India on the supply of goods and services. It is a comprehensive multi-stage destination based tax. Comprehensive because it has subsumed almost all the indirect taxes except a few. India's first special economic zone dedicated to the aerospace industry is located where? It's located in Karnataka. So aerospace and engineering major Quest Global launched the country's first aerospace special economic zone in Belgaum in Karnataka in 2009 for development and manufacture of aerospace precision engineering products. International Maize and Wheat Improvement Center is located where? It's located in Mexico City. So it is a non-profit research and training institution dedicated to both the development of improved varieties of wheat and maize with the aim of contributing to food security and the introduction of improved agricultural practices to smallholder farmers to help boost production prevent crop disease and improve their livelihood. In which year, 30 script Sensex was launched by the BSC, which is the oldest boss in the entire Asian continent. It was launched in 1986. The BSC Sensex is a free float market weighted stock market index of 30 well-established and financially sound companies listed on the Bombay Stock Exchange. World's largest integrated airport terminal is located at it's located in Beijing. Beijing capital has rapidly ascended in rankings of the world's busiest airports in the past decade. It had become the busiest airport in Asia in terms of passenger traffic and total traffic movements by 2009. During end of which of the following period, the urban centers of Gangetic Plains declined. That would be Gupta period. The Gupta period is generally regarded as classic peak of North Indian art for all major religious groups. And it is also regarded as the period when the urban centers of Gangetic Plains declined. Kemal Atatürk is known as the founder and builder of modern what? Modern Turkey. So he is commonly referred to as Mustafa Kemal Atatürk. He was a Turkish field marshal, revolutionary statesman, author and founder of the Republic of Turkey serving as its first president from 1923 until his death in 1938. Maria Montessori, who was the founder of Montessori system of education, which stresses development of a child's own initiative and natural abilities through play, was uh, from which of the following European countries? She was from Italy. Maria Tecla Artemisia Montessori was an Italian physician and educator best known for the philosophy of education that bears her name and her writing on scientific pedagogy. Kuna Palpur Wildlife Sanctuary is located where? It's located in Madhya Pradesh. Kuna National Park is a protected area in Madhya Pradesh that received the status of National Park in 2018. The protected area was established in 1981 as a wildlife sanctuary in the Shiopur and Murina district. It was also popularly known as Kuno Palpur and Palpur Kuno Wildlife Sanctuary. In which year Ecological Task Forces scheme was initiated? It was initiated in 1982. So it set up in 1982 the Territorial Army's Ecological Task Force is the world's first ecological battalion. 
The other important objective of this project was to promote and provide meaningful employment to local ex-servicemen in the territorial army, which is the country's second line of defense after the regular army. At which of the following places in India is coming up a national maritime complex to showcase various facets of Indian maritime industry? That would be Chennai. So the complex would act as a maritime hub of the region and act as a powerhouse of global maritime trade. It will preserve maritime heritage and key ancient maritime traditions which otherwise might get lost. Which of the following is not correctly matched? National Centre for Cell Science to Faridabad is an incorrect match. National Centre for Cell Science is in Manesar in Gurgaon. What is the name of India's first indigenously built nuclear propelled strategic submarine? It is INS Arihant. It is the lead ship of India's Arihant class of nuclear powered ballistic missile submarines. Larsemann Hills region is located where? It's located in Antarctica. The Larsemann Hills are a series of low rounded coastal hills along the southeastern shore of Bright's Bay, Antarctica. Which of the following places are main centers of silicosis and silicotuberculosis diseases affecting the workers in India? The correct answer is stone quarries and stone crushing factories. Silicosis, the most prevalent of pneumoconiosis, is caused by inhalation of crystalline silica particles. Silica exposed workers are at risk of tuberculosis and other mycobacterium related diseases. Which among the following is an incorrect statement regarding market regulations by Alauddin Kilji? Correct answer is all of these are correct. The market reform of Alauddin Khilji was one of the most effective and far-reaching economic regulations of the Sultanate period. It did not remain confined to rural economy but extended to the urban market as well. The price controls were regulated on almost the entire market. They vanished there immediately after the death of the Sultan and the price controls were of course regulated on the entire market. During the end of the Mughal rulers, the Mughal Empire faced the problem of Jagitari crisis. This was during the end of the rule of Aurangzeb. So the Jagitari system was initially designed to cope with a socio-political situation that was rapidly changing during the 18th century. In its prime, the system was able to keep in check the centrifugal forces represented by the Zamindars and it promoted a centralized policy. As time passed by, the old hierarchical society and the Jagindari system were at odds with the rising social forces. In which year Treaty of Amritsar was sound, signed by Ranjit Singh and East India Company? This was in 1809. So this was an agreement between the British East India Company and Ranjit Singh who was the founder of the Sikh Empire. Treaty of Amritsar uh, 1846 was another treaty that formalized the arrangements in the Treaty of Lahore between the British India Company and the Maharaja Gulab Singh Dogra after the First Anglo-Sikh War. Which among the following is the most important character of the Goldilocks zone of the space? Option C which states it is a region of space which is neither too hot nor too cold and has conditions which are a must for life. The Goldilocks zones refers to the habitable zone around a star where the temperature is just right. So it's not too cold and not too cold and for liquid water to exist on a planet. As we are one of those fortunate planets, Earth is within the Goldilocks zone. Golden Peace Dove is an international symbol of peace and related to which of the following? It is related to UN Declaration of Human Rights. Um, so the uh, Universal Declaration of Human Rights is a historic document that was adopted by the United Nations General Assembly at its 183rd session on 10 December 1948 as Resolution 2178 at the Palais de Charlotte in Paris, France. Which among the following is the largest newspaper market in the world that happens to be India? In fact, the Times of India is the largest circulated English language daily newspaper in the world across all formats, whether it's broadsheet, compact, burliner or online. What is the other name of Sir Garfield Sober's Trophy? It's also known as ICC Cricketer of the Year's Award. So the Sir Garfield Sober's Trophy is a cricket trophy awarded annually by the ICC or International Cricket Council to its chosen world player of the year. 
It is considered to be the most prestigious of the annual ICC awards and was first awarded in 2004 to Rahul Dravid. In which of the following events the Palm d'Or or Golden Palm Award is given? It's given in Cannes Film Festival. This is the highest prize awarded at the Cannes Film Festival. It was introduced in 1955 by the festival's organizing committee. Previously, from 1839 to 1954, the highest prize at the festival was the Grand Prix du Festival International du Film. Ecuvary was a joint exercise between India and Maldives. So the seventh edition of India-Maldives bilateral Ecuvary exercise 2016 happened in Kadu, which is in Maldives. So the aim of this is a level joint military exercise and to conduct military training between armies of both countries with emphasis on amphibious and counterinsurgency, counterterrorism operations. What is the name of the world's first man portable fire and forget multipurpose missile? This is Javelin. So this is an American man portable fire and forget anti-tank missile fielded to replace a anti-tank missile that uh, was M47 Dragon, which is which was in use in the U.S. service. In which year did the All India Trade Union Congress split? The correct answer is 1929. The All India Trade Union Congress is the oldest trade union federations in India. It is not politically affiliated to any political party, including the Communist Party of India, but itself is the third largest communist party in India after CPI and CPIM. What was the most prominent reason of arrival of Indo-Aryans from Central Asia, possibly from the south of the Urals and east of Caspian Sea? They arrived because they were defeated by their Indo-European neighbors. So Indo-Aryan migration models discuss scenarios around the theory of an origin from outside the Indian subcontinent of Indo-Aryan people, an ascribed ethno-linguistic group that spoke Indo-Aryan languages that predominant languages of North India. Who among the following Buddhist philosophers persuaded the Indo-Greek king Meander to accept Buddhism? That would be Nagasena. According to tradition, Meander embraced the Buddhist faith as described in the Milinda Panha, a classical Pali Buddhist text on the discussions between Milinda and the Buddhist sage Nagasena. Which among the following was called as central pillar of the administrative system of Delhi Sultanate? That would be the Ikta system. Ikta was an Islamic practice of tax farming that became common in Muslim Asia during the Boyd dynasty. The prominent Orientalist Claude Cohen described the Ikta as a form of administrative grant often translated by the European word fief. In context with banking and investment market, what is the correct full form of ODI? Correct full form is offshore derivative instruments, also known as participatory notes or P notes, and are instruments used by the foreign investors to invest in India's securities markets without getting registered with SEBI. Securities include shares, bonds, and derivatives. A charge levied by a life insurance company for the life insurance protection upon death and to cover certain other expenses is termed as what? It's termed as mortality charges. When we buy a life insurance policy, the insurer levies a charge for the insurance protection upon death and to cover other aspects. This is known as mortality charge. It is the actual cost of the insurance by the life insurance company. Which of the following was set up on the basis of recommendation of Sri K. Santhanam Committee? Correct answer is Central Vigilance Commission. So this is an apex Indian government body created in 1964 to address governmental corruption. In 2003, the parliament enacted a law conferring statutory status on this commission. India's first mega food park is located where? India's first mega food park is located in Haridwar. So, government has sanctioned 42 mega food parks to be set up in the country under the mega food park scheme. Forest Research Institute is located in Dehradun. The Forest Research Institute is an institute of Indian Council of Forestry Research and Education and is a premier institution in the field of forestry research in India. It is among the oldest institutions of its kind. 
In 1991, it was declared a deemed university by the University's Grants Commission. In which of the following northeast states Kopoli Hydro Project is located? It's located in Assam. Kopoli Hydro Project is a 275 megawatts hydroelectric power project on the Kopili River and it's a tributaries Umrong stream. It is located in Dima Hazao district of Assam state. The project was developed and is operated by Northeastern Electric Power Corporation Limited. In context with the currency management in India, the responsibility for coinage vests with which of the following? It is vested in Government of India. The Government of India has the sole right to mint coins. The responsibility for coinage vests with the Government of India in terms of the Coinage Act 1906 as amended from time to time. The designing and minting of coins in various denominations is also the responsibility of the Government of India. In which year Government of India scrapped the exam scripts and introduced partial convertibility of rupee? It happened in 1992. So exim duty or credit scripts are scripts given to exporters as incentives by the government of India. The value of scripts where a percentage of the FOB value of goods and services exported and are freely transferable. Instead, now we work with partial convertibility of rupee. Which among the following was set up primarily for the rehabilitation of Sikh units? Correct answer is Industrial Reconstruction Bank of India. This is also known as IRBI. Its function is to provide financial assistance as well as to revive and revitalize Sikh industrial units in public or private sectors and an institution called the Industrial Reconstruction Corporation of India was set up in 1971 with a share capital of rupees 10 crores towards this effort. Bring out the qualitative control instrument of Reserve Bank of India. Correct answer is RBI announces selective credit control in the quarterly review of the monetary policy. So um, the former or traditional method includes bank rate policy, open market operations and variable reserve ratio. Qualitative also called selective credit control instruments work through regulation of margin requirement, credit rationing, regulation of consumer credit and direct action. In which year lead bank scheme was introduced? It was introduced in 1969. Under the lead bank scheme administered by RBI since 1969, a bank, whether private or public, leads the consortium of all banks in the area. The role of lead bank is to coordinate the efforts of all banks in the area for credit expansion to sectors which are important to economy. Which among the following was chosen as a unit of developing banking infrastructure in the lead bank scheme? Correct answer is district. All the districts in the country excepting the metropolitan cities of Mumbai, Kolkata, Chennai and union territories of Chandigarh, Delhi and Goa were allotted among public sector banks and a few private sector banks. Later on, the union territories of Goa, Daman and Diu as also the rural areas of Union Territory of Delhi and Chandigarh have been brought within the purview of LBS. Which among the following helps to solve the balance of payment problem of member countries? This is the job of the International Development Fund. What name has been given to the second Green Revolution which was announced by the Indian Prime Minister in 2005? It was known as Green Revolution. The Green Revolution promised much but today it's caught up in the cloud of environmental controversies with fertile land turning barren due to chemical overuse, drying aquifers and vanishing biodiversity. The key word today is gene revolution. But even here, poor farmers stand to suffer. The Agrarian Reforms Committee under the chairmanship of Sri J.C. Kumarappa in 1949 was related to which of the following? They were related to cooperative farming. Now, cooperative farming refers to an organization in which each member farmer remains the owner of his land individually. But farming is done jointly. Profit is distributed among the member farmers in the ratio of the land owned by them. In which year National Seeds Corporation was set up? It was set up in 1963. National Seeds Corporation Limited is a Schedule B Mini Ratna Category 1 company wholly owned by the Government of India under the administrative control of Department of Agriculture, Corporation and Farmers Welfare, which comes under the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. NSC was established in March of 1963 
to undertake production of foundation and certified seeds. M3 is the most important component among all money stock measures. What is the common name of M3? And the correct answer is broad money. In economics, broad money is a term denoting a certain measure of the amount of money in a national economy and it is used depending on the local practice. Which among the following was previously known as Imperial Bank of India? The correct answer is State Bank of India, which was established in 1806 in Kolkata. Three years after that, it acquired its charter and was redesigned as Bank of Bengal in 1809. It was the very first joint stock bank of India which the Bengal government sponsored. In which of the following branches of science study of functions, characteristics and phenomena observed in the living world and the application of this knowledge to world of machine is studied? The correct answer for this is bionics. Bionics or biologically inspired engineering is the application of biological methods and systems found in nature to study and design of engineering systems and modern technology. The word was first coined by Jack E. Steele in August 1958, being formed as a portmanteau from biology and electronics. Which among the following gas is used in balloons? The gas used in balloons is helium. At the atmospheric pressure is dramatically reduced at high altitudes, so a helium balloon expands as it rises and eventually explodes. What kind of emergency in India has been imposed for maximum time? The correct answer for this is constitutional emergency. So uh, there are three types of emergency as defined by the Indian constitution. They are national emergency, president's rule in state which is state emergency and financial emergency. Which among the following are covered in statistical tables of RBI? The correct answer is all of the above. So liabilities and assets, income and expenses and non-performing assets all are covered in this. For scheduled commercial banks, entity-wise information on major items of liabilities and assets, income and expenses, selected financial ratios, number of employees and details of priority sector advances are provided. In addition, capital adequacy ratio, non-performing assets, exposure to sensitive sectors Contingent liabilities and unclaimed deposits are also included. Lokmanya Tilak Award is given in which of the following field? It is given in the field of journalism. The Lokmanya Tilak Smarak Trust organizes a function to present the Lokmanya Tilak National Award. On which birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi, NREGA, which is National Rural Employment Guarantee Act was renamed as MNREGA by Cabinet of India. So it got renamed after Gandhi. This was on Gandhi's 140th birthday. So National Rural Employment Guarantee Act 2005 is an Indian labor law and social security measure that aims to guarantee the right to work. Which among the following is the world's largest circulated magazine? Correct answer is Reader's Digest. Reader's Digest is an American general interest family magazine published 10 times a year. The periodical has a global circulation of 10.5 million, making it the largest paid circulation magazine in the world. Which among the following is not in Uttarakhand? The correct answer for this is Option D, Annual Welfare Board of India. It is in Ballabgarh, which is in Haryana. All the others, which are GB Panth Institute of Himalayan Environment and Development, Indian Council of Forest Research and Wildlife Institute of India, all of these are in Uttarakhand. Which among the following is the largest tiger reserve in India? The correct answer for this is option D, Nagarjuna, Srisailam, Sanctuary. So this is the largest tiger reserve in India and it spreads over five districts in the states of Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. Approximately what fraction of the world's tea output comes from Assam? The correct answer for this is 
option B 15%. So that's about one sixth of the tea produced in the world. So uh, there are the districts of Tinsukia, Dibrugar, Sipshagar, Jorhat, Kolaghat, Nagao, and Sonitpur, which are districts where tea gardens are mostly found. Assam produces more than 50% of the tea produced in India and of course one sixth or 15% of the tea produced in the world. The name of the state Bihar comes from an old name which denotes which of the following. The correct answer for this is A. A Buddhist monastery. So the name of Bihar is derived from the Sanskrit and Pali word Vihara which means abode. The region roughly encompassing the present state was dotted with Buddhist Vihara, the abodes of Buddhist monks in the ancient and medieval periods. That is why it's known as Bihar. Dr. Kubichand Vaghel was the first person to raise a voice in favor of which of the following states? Correct answer for this is option C, Chhattisgarh. Chhattisgarh is one of the 29 states of India located in the center east of the country. It is the 10th largest state in India and was formed on 1st November 2000 by partitioning 10 Chhattisgarhi and 6 Gondi speaking southeastern districts of Madhya Pradesh. Which of the following states in India accounts for almost 100% production of lemongrass oil? Correct answer for this is option B, Kerala. At present, India grows this crop in 3000 hectare area, largely in the states of Kerala, Karnataka, Uttar Pradesh and Assam, and the annual production ranges between 300 to 350 tons per annum. India's largest petrochemical complex is located where? The correct answer for this is Gujarat. So at, pres uh, at present, uh, we have the largest petrochemical plant in India located at the Hay Special Economic Zone, which is in Gujarat. And it's spread over 508 hectares of opal and is the single largest petrochemical complex in India. In fact, Prime Minister Narendra Modi had inaugurated this and it's worth about rupees 30,000 cro crore and it is under ONGC Petro Editions Limited or OPAL. Ghaggar is the main and only seasonal river of which of the following states? Correct answer for this is option D, Haryana. The Ghaggar is an intermittent river in India flowing only during the monsoon rains. It originates in the Shivalik hills of Himachal Pradesh and flows through Punjab and Haryana states into Talwar Lake in Rajasthan. Which among the following place in Himachal Pradesh is known as Mini Switzerland? Correct answer is option B, Khadjiar. So Khadjiar is among the 160 locations in the world that bear topographical resemblance with Switzerland. A stone from Khadjar forms a part of stone collage around the Swiss parliament to remind the visitors of Khadjar as a mini Switzerland of India. Kaladi in Ernakulam district of Kerala is a birthplace of which of the following? The correct answer for this is option A, Adi Shankara. Adi Shankaracharya was an early 8th century Indian philosopher and theologian who consolidated the doctrine of Advaita Vedanta. He is credited with unifying and establishing the main currents of thought in Hinduism. Which among the following characterizes yellow journalism? The correct answer for this is option D, pertaining to sensational, slanderous, scandalous content. Yellow journalism or the yellow press is a type of journalism that does not report much real news with facts. It uses shocking headlines that catch people's attention to sell more newspapers. Yellow journalism might include exaggerating facts or spreading rumors. Who among the following are known to colonize the first island? The correct answer is Portuguese. So they were the first to colonize an island. The Atlantic Islands of Madeira colonized in 1419 and Azores colonized in 1427 were reached and started to be settled, producing wheat for export to Portugal. Joseph Goebbels was an ardent follower and a minister of propaganda of who of the following? The correct answer for this is option A, Adolf Hitler. Paul Joseph Goebbels was a German Nazi politician and great minister of propaganda of 
Nazi Germany from 1933 to 1945. He was one of Adolf Hitler's closest and most devoted associates and was known for his skills in public speaking and his deeply virulent anti-Semitism, which was evident in his publicly voiced views. Which of the following nations is famous among geographers as a friendly island? Correct answer is Tonga. Tonga is a Polynesian country and archipelago comprising of 169 islands, of which 36 are inhabited. It became known as in the West as Friendly Islands because of its congenial reception accorded to Captain James Cook on his first visit in 1773. In which of the following countries North Sea Jazz Festival is organized? It is the largest jazz festival of Europe. The correct answer is option A, Netherlands. So, the North Sea Jazz Festival is an annual festival held each second week of July in the Netherlands at the Ahoy venue. It used to be in the Hague, but since 2006 it has been held in Rotterdam. This part is related to which of the following sports? The correct answer is option D, squash. The Women's International Squash Players Association was the governing body for women's professional squash circuit between 1983 and 2011. The Vispa World Tour involved over 80 tournaments annually worldwide and over 200 players were registered with it. In which of the following conditions a person is born with both ovarian and testicular tissues that is both female and male organs? The correct answer is hermaphrodism. So, um, in biology, a hermaphrodite is an organism that has completed partial reproductive organs and produces gametes normally associated with both male and female sexes. In true sense, uh, in 100% hermaphrodism condition, an individual has both ovarian and testicular tissues. Holy Grail is related to which of the following religions? Correct answer is Christianity. The Holy Grail is a treasure that serves as an important motive in Arthurian literature. Different traditions describe it as a cup, dish or stone with miraculous powers that provide happiness, eternal youth or sustenance in infinite abundance. Which among the following conditions will give birth to fraternal twins? Correct answer is option C, which is two eggs are independently fertilized by two different sperm cells. Twins are two offsprings produced by the same pregnancy. Twins can either be monozygotic or identical, meaning that they develop from one zygote, which splits and forms two embryos, or dizygotic or fraternal, meaning that each, each twin develops from a separate egg and each egg is fertilized by its own sperm cell. Which among the following city of Punjab was known as Ramdaspur? Correct answer for this is option B, Amritsar. Amritsar, which is colloquially known as Ambarsar and historically known as Ramdaspur, is located in the Punjab state of India. It derives its name from Amrit Sarovar, which was built by Guru Ramdas in the village of Tom. Guru Ramdas believed that the waters of the lake had healing powers. What will be the ultimate impact on the poor and landless farmers if all of a sudden government decides to raise the minimum support prices of rice and food grains inexorably or excessively? Correct answer for this is the poor farmers become more poor. So what is MSP? In theory, an MSP is the minimum price set by the government at which farmers can expect to sell their produce for the season. When market prices fall below the announced MSPs, procurement agencies step in to procure the crop and support the prices. Which among the following is the most abundant human resource in India? Correct answer is low skilled labor in or unorganized sectors. So what we call cheap labor. So it literally means that labor is cheap in India as compared to other developed countries. Since India is a highly populated country, there is an excess supply of labor. And since private investment in India is also low, there are lower and lower job opportunities for the masses. In which year Market Access Initiative Scheme was launched? This was first launched in 2003. Recently, it was revamped in 2018. 
So in 2018, Market Access Initiative Scheme has been developed for the purpose of promoting exports and addressing interventions on a sustained basis so as to explore new markets across the globe and promote export-oriented activities. Over how many years periodic review of Miniratna and Navratna status of public enterprises are performed on the basis of their performance? Correct answer is every three years. As on 13 September 2017, there are 8 Maharatnas, 16 Navratnas and 74 Miniratnas. If an exporter earns money and deposits that with RBI, what will be the ultimate impact on the country's money supply? Correct answer is, money supply will increase. So, monetary policy is the process by which monetary authority of a country, generally the central bank, which in case of India is RBI, controls the supply of money in economy by its control over interest rates in order to maintain price stability and achieve high economic growth. In which of the following countries, maximum number of branches of Indian banks are located? Maximum number of branches are located in the UK. SBI has the largest number of overseas branches, which is 52, followed by Bank of Baroda, which has 50 overseas branches, and Bank of India, which has 29. The state-owned banks have the largest number of branches in the United Kingdom, which is 32, followed by Hong Kong, UAE, which both have 13 each, and Singapore, which has 12. Many a times we read about hot money in newspapers, which among the following options rightly describes hot money. Correct answer for this is option B. Hot money is dangerous and volatile and leaves the country in bad weather conditions. So, in economics, hot money is the flow of funds from one country to another in order to earn a short-term profit on interest rate differences and or anticipated exchange rate shifts. What is the main motive of the government behind having a dual price system and setting up of fair price shops? Correct answer is to make the essential commodities available to the weaker sections of society. So fair price shops are your ration shops. So uh, dual pricing is a situation in which same product or services is sold at a different prices in different markets. Fair price shops means a shop which has been licensed to distribute essential commodities by an order issued under Section 3 of the Essential Commodities Act of 1955 to the ration card holders under the targeted public distribution system. Which among the following is an example of greenfield investment? Correct answer for this is option B that states Investment made by a company in a new factory complex in a remote land of the country where there was no facilities. A greenfield investment is a type of foreign direct investment where a parent company creates a subsidiary in a different country, building its operations from the ground up. A zero guinea index means which of the following? Correct answer is option A. Perfect equality in income. In economics, the Gini coefficient, sometimes called Gini index or Gini ratio, is a measure of statistical dispersion intended to represent the income or wealth distribution of a nation's residents and is the most commonly used measurement of inequality. A country in which every resident has the same income would have an income Gini coefficient of zero. All those laws that were in force immediately before the enactment of the constitution shall we void to extent of inconsistency with the fundamental rights. Essence of Article 13, 1, which quotes this, can be placed under which of the following? It can be placed under judicial review. Article 13, 1, in the Constitution of India, states all laws in force in territory of India immediately before the commencement of the Constitution, which are inconsistent with the provisions of this part, shall to the extent of such inconsistency be void. By exercising its amending power under Article 368, Parliament can amend even part of three of the Constitution. To which of the following cases Supreme Court held this? 1. Golaknath case. 2. Sajjan Singh vs. State of Rajasthan case. 3. Shankari Prasad vs. Union of India case. Correct answer is 2 and 3. The basic structure doctrine is an Indian judicial principle that the constitution of India has certain basic features that cannot be altered or destroyed through amendments by the parliament. 
the basic features principle first expounded in 1964 by justice j r mudholkar in his dissent in the case of sajjan singh versus state of rajasthan the parliament cannot amend the constitution in a way that takes away the fundamental rights of the citizens in case of shankari prasad versus union of india the supreme court tested this concept constitution part 4 article 36 to 51 contains the directive principles of state policy in the following options bring out which include the scope of gandhian principles so if you see the diagram on the right articles 40 43 43b 46 47 48 are based on gandhian principles among the given options option b is the one which has all the ones within that uh, block So, Article Forty states organization of village panchayats. Article Forty Seven states to bring about the prohibition of intoxicating drinks and drugs that are injurious to health. And uh, Article Forty Eight states to prohibit the slaughter of cows, calves, and other milk and draught animals. So, these are all directive principles of state policy, which are on the Gandhian thought process. which among the following article says that directive principles are not enforceable by any court but at the same time declared that they are nevertheless fundamental in governance of the country and it shall be duty of the state to apply these principles in making law correct answer is article 37 so article 37 states application of the principles contained in this part the provisions contained in the part shall not be enforceable by any court but the principles therein laid down are nevertheless fundamental in the governance of the country and it shall be the duty of state to apply these principles in making laws now the reason these are uh, not compulsory or they are not uh, valid for judicial review is because we consider the fact that states may not have the resources to implement all of these which among the following was the first program launched by government of india to implement the article 47 of the directive principles of state policy correct answer is b community development program so article 47 of the constitution of india is the one of the directive principles which directs the state to raise the level of nutrition and the standard of living and to improve public health as among its primary duties and in particular the state shall endeavor to bring about prohibition of intoxicating drinks and drugs which are injurious to health which among the following justifies the reason that directive principles were made explicitly unjustifiable that is they cannot be taken to a court correct answer is the implementation of directive principle needs resources which the states may not have the idea of directive principles being included in the constitution was borrowed from the constitution of ireland the directive principles are non justiciable in nature because they are not legally enforceable by the courts for their violation therefore the government cannot be compelled to implement them the vice president acts as the president which among the following is or are true in a case when the vice president acts as the president he or she ceases to be chairman of rajya sabha um article 63 of the indian constitution states that there shall be a vice president of india the vice president acts as president in the absence of the president due to death resignation impeachment or any other situation in which year a non statutory minority commission was established in india a non statutory minority commission was established in 1978 with the enactment of national commission for minorities act 1992 the minorities commission was transformed into a statutory body and renamed as national commission for minorities the commission derives its powers from the provisions of a national commission of for minorities act of 1992 Who among the following was the first chairman of National Commission for Women? The correct answer is Jayanti Patnaik. Jayanti Patnaik is an Indian parliamentarian and a renowned social worker. She was the first chairperson of the National Commission for Women. Her term of office was from 3rd Feb 1992 to 30th January 1995, so roughly three years. How many matters are listed in Schedule 12 added by 74th Amendment? which are responsibility of the municipalities correct answer here is 18 so there are 18 matters uh, listed the act aims at revitalizing the and strengthening the urban governments so that they can function effectively as units of local government 
12th schedule was added by the 74th amendment act of 1992 12th schedule of the indian constitution contains powers and authority and responsibilities of the municipality which among the following date in world history is known as d day a date also known as of operation neptune and operation overlord the correct answer is 6 june 1944 The Normandy landings were the landing operations on Tuesday, 6 June 1944, of the Allied inventions of Normandy in Operation Overlord during World War II. Codenamed Operation Neptune and often referred to as D-Day, it was the largest seaborne invasion in history. Cobalt is a component of which of the following vitamins? Correct answer is vitamin B12. So vitamin B12 deficiency may lead to a reduction in healthy blood red blood cells and as a result lead to anemia the nervous system may also be affected diet or certain medical conditions may be the cause symptoms are rare but can include fatigue breathlessness numbness poor balance and memory trouble lipoproteins which are the largest molecules and which transport the cholesterol in blood stream are what are lipoproteins they are protein and fat molecules cholesterol travels through the blood on proteins called lipoproteins um sometimes bad cholesterol which is low density lipoprotein makes up most of our body's cholesterol content high levels of ldl cholesterol raises our risk of heart disease and stroke in which year unity of germany became a reality correct answer is 1871 On 18 January 1871, the King of Prussia was crowned the German Emperor of Versailles. Which among the following countries referred to G3 economies? Correct answer is U.S., Europe, and Japan. The world's three leading economic blocks are the U.S., Japan, and the EU. G3 bonds are also available, which means bonds issued in U.S. dollars, yen, and euros. The name of Sir Chintaman Dwarkana Deshmukh is special in the Indian banking sector. Why? It's because he was the first Indian to be Governor of Reserve Bank of India. He was an Indian civil servant and the first Indian to be appointed the Governor of Reserve Bank of India in 1943 by the British Raj authorities. He subsequently served as the Finance Minister in the Indian Union Cabinet. On the recommendation of which of the following committees banking service recruitment board was abolished in 2002 correct answer is narasimha committee the narasimha committee was established under the former rbi governor m narasimha in august 1991 to look into all aspects of the financial system in india the report of this committee had comprehensive recommendations for financial sector reforms including the banking sector and capital markets The boards of which of the following category public sector companies will have powers for equity investment to establish joint ventures and wholly owned subsidiaries in India and abroad. Correct answer is both Maharashtra and Navratna companies. So uh, public sector unit companies are divided into three categories: Maharashtra, Navratna, and Mini Ratna. And Mini Ratna has further categories of one and two. Adelaide is the capital of which of the following territories of Australia? Correct answer is South Australia. Adelaide is South Australia's cosmopolitan coastal capital, and it is one of the uh, most popular cities. The city's Adelaide Festival is an annual international arts gathering with spin-offs including fringe and film events. Which among the following is not correctly matched capital? They are all correctly matched. Dominican Republic's capital is Santo Domingo. El Salvador's republic uh, capital is San Salvador, and Grenada's a uh, capital is Saint George's. City Bashir Mosque is located where? It is located at Ahmedabad. The mosque is also called Jhulta Minar or Shaking Minarets. Nipponzon Myohoji Buddhist Temple, or commonly called Peace Pagoda or Shanti Stupa. was established by who among the following correct answer is fuji guru fuji was greatly inspired by his meeting with mahatma gandhi in 1931 and decided to devote his life to promoting non violence hussein sagar is a lake in hyderabad and was built by who it was built by hazrat hussein shah wali 
Hussein Sagar is a necklace shaped lake in Hyderabad built by Ibrahim Kuli Qutub Shah and named after Hussein Shah Wali. Silent Valley National Park is located where? It's located in Kerala. Silent Valley National Park is a national park in Kerala. The British named the area Silent Valley because of the perceived absence of noisy scissors. Who among the following is called Bard of Avon? Correct answer is William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare was an English poet, playwright and actor widely regarded as the greatest writer in English language and the world's greatest dramatist. He is often called England's national poet and the Bard of Avon. In which of the following date World Water Day is observed? It's observed on March 22nd. World Water Day is annual UN observance day that highlights the importance of fresh water. The day is used to advocate for the sustainable management of freshwater resources. World Water Day is celebrated around the world with a variety of events. Who was India's first ICS officer? Correct answer is Satyendranath Tagore. Satyendranath Tagore was the first Indian to join the Indian Civil Service. He was an author, song composer and linguist and made a significant contribution towards the emancipation of women in Indian society during British Raj. The human musculoskeletal system consists of what? It consists of human skeleton, bones attached to other bones with joints, skeletal muscles attached to the skeleton by tendons, that is, all of the above. The human musculoskeletal system is an organ system that gives humans the ability to move using their muscular and skeletal systems. The musculoskeletal system provides form, support, stability and movement to the body. The existence of genes was first suggested by who? It was suggested by Gregor Mendel. Gregor John Mendel was a scientist, Augustinian friar and abbot of St. Thomas Abbey in Bruno, which is in Moravia. Mendel was born in German-speaking family in the Silesian part of Austrian Empire and gained posthumous recognition as the founder of the modern science of genetics. Which among the following country owns the first permanent base in the area at Antarctica defined by the Antarctic Treaty System? Correct answer is Argentina. The Antarctic Treaty System is the whole complex of arrangements made for the purpose of regulating relations among states in the Antarctic. At its heart, it, it is the Antarctic Treaty itself. The original parties to the treaty were the 12 nations active in the Antarctic during the International Geophysical Year of 1957-58. Karkota dynasty was confined to which of the following areas? Correct answer is Kashmir. Karkota Empire was a Kashmiri dynasty that was a major power in the Indian subcontinent during 7th and 8th century. It was founded by Durlab Vardhana during the lifetime of Harshavardhan. The dynasty marked the rise of Kashmir as a power in northern India. Which among the following bills embodies the budget? Correct answer is Appropriation Bill. An Appropriation Bill, also known as Supply Bill or Spending Bill, is a proposed law that authorizes the expenditure of government funds. It is a bill that sets money aside for specific spending. In most democracies, approval of the legislature is necessary for the government to spend money. Who among the following is the first Indian to win a Hoover Prize? Correct answer is Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. The Hoover Medal is an American engineering prize. It has been given since 1930 for outstanding extra career services by engineers to humanity. At which of the following places Europe's Parliament meets? Europe's Parliament meets at both Strasbourg and Brussels. So the European Parliament is the only parliamentary institution of European Union that is directly elected by European citizens aged 18 or older. Together with the European Commission and the Council of the European Union, it exercises the tripartite legislative function of the European Union. How many states in India have a forest cover more than 75% of the geographical land area? There are three states. These three states are Arunachal Pradesh, Manipur and Nagaland. Which of the following IT companies had to cease its India operations in 1970s 
in the wake of the FIRA restrictions and which re-established itself only after 1992 when economic liberalization in India took place? Correct answer is IBM. So what is the FIRA? The FIRA is the Foreign Exchange Regulation Act, uh, which was legislation passed in India in 1973 that imposed strict regulations on certain kinds of payments, the dealings in foreign exchange and securities, and the transactions which had an indirect impact on the foreign exchange and the import and export of currency. Approximately what fraction of the world's oil exports is pumped by 12 member organization of the petroleum exporting countries OPEC? Correct answer is 50%. The organization of petroleum exporting countries or OPEC is an intergovernmental organization of 14 nations founded in 1960 in Baghdad by the first five members, which were Iran, Iraq, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia and Venezuela, all oil producing countries and headquarters since 1965 in Vienna, Austria. The water comes to Indira Gandhi Canal from which of the following rivers? They come from Sutlej and Bias. The Indira Gandhi Canal is the longest canal of India. It starts from the Harike Barrage at Harike a few kilometers below the confluence of Satluj and Bias rivers in the Indian state of Punjab and terminates in irrigation facilities in the Thar Desert in northwest of Rajasthan state. In which part of the world an economic organization SELA works? <clears throat> the correct answer is Latin America. The Latin American and the Caribbean economic system, which is officially known as CIRA, is an organization founded in 1975 to promote economic cooperation and social development between Latin American and the Caribbean countries. 12 hour time zone difference with USA affects Indian BPO and KPO industries as follows. It is advantageous for Indian BPO and KPO. Knowledge Business Outsourcing or KPO is a subset of BPO. KPO involves outsourcing of core functions which may or may not give cost benefit to the parent company but surely helps in value addition. The processes which are outsourced to KPOs are usually more specialized and knowledge based as compared to BPOs. Consider the following. Number one, notes. Number two, coins. Number three, credits. Which among the above come under the category of common money? Correct answer is one and two only. Notes and coins are common money, whereas credit is bank money. Consider the following. Reserve Bank of India notes. Number two, Treasury Bills of Government of India. Number three, Bills of Exchange of 90 Days Maturity. Number four, Demand Deposits. Which among the above are near money? Correct answer is two and three, which are Treasury Bills of Government of India and Bills of Exchange of 90 Days Maturity. Treasury bills are presently issued in three maturities, namely 91 day, 182 day and 364 day. Treasury bills are zero coupon securities and pay no interest. Rather, they are issued at a discount, at, which is at a reduced amount and redeemed, that is they are given back at face value at maturity. Reserve Bank of India is bound to maintain a reserve against the note issue, whatever may be the amount. The system is called what? It is called minimum reserve system. The minimum reserve system is followed from 1956 onwards. Under the minimum reserve system, the RBI has to keep a minimum reserve of rupees 200 crore comprising of gold coin and gold bullion and foreign currencies. A bank included in the second schedule of RBI is called what? It is called a scheduled bank. A scheduled bank in India refers to a bank which is listed in the second schedule of the Reserve Bank of India Act 1934. Banks not under this schedule are called non-scheduled banks. Scheduled banks are usually private, foreign and nationalized banks operating in India. From the given option below, bring out the one which is not an instrument of monetary policy. Correct answer is open market operations. An open market operation is an activity by a central bank to give liquidity in its currency to a bank or a group of banks. Which among the following sector contributes maximum to GDP in India? Correct answer is tertiary sector. The tertiary sector or service sector is the third of the three economic sectors of the three sector theory. 
The others are the secondary sector and the primary sector. The service sector consists of the production of services instead of end products. What is the minimum and maximum number of banks which can participate in a consortium loans? Correct answer is minimum to maximum has no limit. In the financial world, a consortium refers to several lending institutions that group together to jointly finance a single borrower. These multiple banking arrangements are very similar to a loan syndication, although there are structural and op operational differences between the two. Which of the following actions of central bank can increase deposit component of the money supply? Correct answer is lowering reserve requirements or decreasing the volume of reserves. The central bank can influence the money supply by modifying reserve requirements, which generally refer to the amount of funds banks must hold against deposits in bank accounts. By lowering the reserve requirements, banks are able to loan more money, which increase the overall supply of money in the economy. In which of the following actions will be taken by Reserve Bank of India to curb excess liquidity when the deficit financing increases? Correct answer is increasing CRR. If the RBI hikes CRR substantially, banks will have to increase the loan interest rates. Thus, hike in CRR leads to increase of interest rates on loans provided by the banks. Reduction in CRR sucks money out of the system, causing to decrease in money supply. When money supply decreases, the inflation comes down. In which year Tax Reforms Committee was constituted by Government of India? Correct answer is 1991. It was the Raja Shalya Committee. Which among the following work was originally called as Jayakavya? The correct answer is Mahabharata. At least three redactions of the text are commonly recognized. Jaya, which is victory with 8,800 verses attributed to Vyasa. Bharata with 24,000 verses as recited by Vaisampayana. And finally, the Mahabharata as recited by Ugrasrava Sauti with over 100,000 verses. Which among the following Buddhist work is written in Sanskrit? Correct answer is Divyadana. So uh, the Divyadana or Divine Narratives is a Sanskrit anthology of Buddhist Avadana tales, many originating in Mula Sarvastivadina Vinaya texts. Which among the following is not a Jain text? Correct answer is Manjushri Mulkalpa. This is not a Jain text, it's a Buddhist text. What is the number of richas in Rig Veda? Correct answer is 10,580. The Rig Veda is a collection of Vedic Sanskrit rhymes counted among the four Hindu religious texts known as Vedas. The Rig Veda was likely composed between roughly 1700 to 1100 BCE, making it one of the oldest texts of any Indo-Iranian language, one of the world's oldest religious texts. Vajasneya belongs to which of the following Veda? Correct answer is Yajur Veda. The Yajur Veda is the Veda primarily of prose mantras for worship rituals. An ancient Vedic Sanskrit text, it is a compilation of ritual offering formulas that was said by a priest while an individual performed ritual actions such as those before the Yajna fire. Bhagavati Sutra gives the valuable information about the life of which of the following. Correct answer is Mahavira. Uh, Bhagavati Sutra is the common name for Vyakha Prajnapati and it is the fifth of the twelve Jain Agama said to be promulgated by Mahavira. In Rig Veda, the rivers Ganga and Yamuna are mentioned how many times? Correct answer is Yamuna is mentioned thrice, Ganga is mentioned more. The most prominent rivers of Rig Veda is Saraswati next to the Indas. The Rig Veda mentions Saraswati River as between Yamuna to the east and River Satlej to the west. Which among the following Brahman gave an account of agricultural operations for a season? Correct answer is Satapatha. The Satapatha Brahmana is a prose text describing Vedic rituals, history and mythology associated with Shukla Yajur Veda. Nakulin and Lakulin is considered to be a founder of which of the following sects? Correct answer is Pashupat. Pashupata Shaivism is the oldest of the major Shaivad Hindu schools. 
There is a debate about pioneership of the school and Goan school of Nakulish Darshan believes that Nakulish was pioneer and Lakulish and Patanjali Nath were his disciples, while Gujarat school believes that Nakulish and Lakulish are one. Who among the following rulers conquered the Anga Mahajanpada and merged it with Magadha? Correct answer is Bimbisar. Around 6th century BC, the territories of 16 Mahajanpadas got clearly marked. This included Kashi, Kosala, Anga, Magadha, Vajji or Vriji, Malla, Chedi or Chetti, Bamsa or Vatsa, Kuru, Panchala, Matcha or Matsya, Sudasena, Asaka or Ashmaka, Avanti, Ganthara and Kamboja. In context with the financial markets in India, which among the following aims to trap the innocent investors and intends to create huge false volumes? Correct answer is circular trading. It is a fraudulent scheme where sell orders are entered by a broker who knows that offsetting buy orders for the exact same number of shares at the same time and at the same price have either been or will be entered. In context with the business and banking, what is CRAR? Correct answer is capital to risk asset ratio. Capital adequacy ratio is also known as capital to risk asset ratio. It is the ratio of a bank's capital to its risk. National regulators track a bank's CAR to ensure that it can absorb a reasonable amount of loss and complies with statutory capital requirements. Which among the following is the main function of a stock exchange? Correct answer is provide liquidity to existing securities and share. The main function of a stock market is to provide ready market for sale and purchase of securities. The presence of stock exchange market gives assurance to investors that their investment can be converted into cash whenever they want. In context with the financial markets, which among the following is not allowed at present in India? Correct answer is credit default swaps. A credit default swap is a financial swap agreement that the seller of the swap will compensate the buyer in the event of a debt, default or other credit event. That is, the seller of the CDS ensures the buyer against some reference asset defaulting. Which among the following statements is incorrect? All of these statements are correct. That is, banknotes in India are guaranteed by central government. Reserve Bank of India has the sole right of issuing banknotes in India and the power to discontinue or non-issue of any denomination of bank lies with central government. Which among the following is or are negotiable instrument? Correct answer is demand draft. A demand draft is a negotiable instrument similar to a bill of exchange. A bank issues a demand draft to a client directing another bank or one of its own branches to pay a certain amount to the specified party. A demand draft can also be compared to a check. Consider the following. Number 1. Check. Number 2. Bill of exchange. Number 3. Promissory note. Which among the above three instruments can be crossed? Correct answer is check and bill of exchange. So, a promissory note cannot be crossed. And usually, a cross check or a bill of exchange is one that has been marked specifying an instruction on the way it is to be redeemed. Which among the following in India releases data on balance of payments from time to time? Correct answer is the Central Bank or Reserve Bank of India. Preliminary data can be found on RBI's own website. While opening a new account in a bank, a customer tenders along with account opening form relevant documents and a proper introduction and initial deposit. Which among the following is correct about initial deposit? Correct answer is initial deposit is not required in some situations. Which is the case of zero balance accounts. Global Trust Bank was acquired by which of the following banks in year 2004? It was acquired by Oriental Bank of Commerce. Global Trust Bank was founded on 21st October 1994 and commenced operations at Secunderabad. Which among the following territories was earlier known as Formosa? Correct answer is Taiwan. The Republic of Formosa was a short-lived republic that existed on the island of Taiwan. In 1985, between the formal session of Taiwan by the 
Qing Dynasty of China to the Empire of Japan by the Treaty of Shimonoseki and it's being taken over by Japanese troops. Which among the following accord is known to lead the, to the formation of Palestinian Authority? Correct answer is Oslo Accord. The Oslo Accords are a set of agreements between the government of Israel and the Palestine Revelation Organization. The Oslo I Accord signed in Washington DC in 1993 and the Oslo II Accord was signed in Taba, Egypt in 1995. In context with Vietnam War, which of the following statement holds correct? Correct answer is the US backed South Vietnam side and USSR or Russia backed North Vietnam side. The Vietnam War, which was also known as the Second Indochina War, and in Vietnam as the Resistance War Against America or simply the American War, was an undeclared war in Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia from November 1955 to the fall of Saigon on 30th April 1975. The meaning of the name of which of the following country is Italian and it means little winds. Correct answer is Venezuela. According to the most popular and accepted version in 1499, an expedition led by Alonso de Ojeda visited the Venezuelan coast. The stilt house in the area of Lake Maracaibo reminded the Italian navigator Amerigo Vespucci of the city of Venice. So he named the region Venezuela or Little Venice. Which among the following countries does not border Uzbekistan? Correct answer is Russia. Uzbekistan is bordered by five landlocked countries. Kazakhstan to the north, Kyrgyzstan to the northeast, Tajikistan to southeast, Afghanistan to south and Turkmenistan to southwest. Which among the following acts of United States is known to be prohibiting discrimination based on race, color, religion, sex, and national origin by federal and state governments as well as public places? Correct answer is Civil Rights Act of 1964. It is a landmark civil rights and labor law in United States that outlaws discrimination based on race, color, religion, sex, or national origin. It prohibits unequal application of voter registration requirements and racial segregation in schools, employment, and public accommodations. Which among the following countries tightly shared the maximum in Anatolia or Asia Minor geographical region? Correct answer is Turkey. Anatolia, which is most of modern Turkey, is divided into six distinct regions, including the Aegean, Black Sea, Mediterranean, Central Anatolia, Eastern Anatolia and Southeastern Anatolia regions. The Marmara region is towards the European part of Turkey. Which of the following South Asian country was never took over by any European power? Correct answer is Thailand. The Thai people who originally lived in southwestern China migrated into mainland Southeast Asia over a period of many centuries. On which of the following dates Sri Lanka observes its independence day? Correct answer is February 4th. Sri Lanka got its independence on February 4th, 1948. The Sri Lankan independence movement was a peaceful political movement which was aimed at achieving independence and self-rule for the country of Sri Lanka, then British Ceylon, from the British Empire. Which of the following European countries has highest Muslim population density? Correct answer is Turkey. As of 2011, approximately 9 million Turks were living in Europe outside of Turkey. This made Turks the largest immigrant Muslim population in Europe. Estimates of the percentage of Muslims in Russia vary from 5 to 11.7 percent depending on source. That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.